hello. This is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. I've been very busy prospecting lately and I have prospected in various locations in New Jersey. I showed you some specimens that I prospected in southern New Jersey. I want to show you what I prospected at the Sterling Hill Mine in northern New Jersey because the finds that I had come across, the specimens, are absolutely outstanding. So let's take a look at them. Starting with this rock. I don't know what this is. I couldn't identify it. But it has beautiful um, mon um, long dark green crystals and a white matrix. It doesn't dissolve with acid. It's rather um, um, friable. Beautiful specimen. Absolutely beautiful specimen. Tremolite. A beautiful specimen of tremolite. Calcite of a different crystal form. Look at this beautiful white calcite. All around, perfect crystals. Perfect. Amethyst. No, here's calcite barite. Beautiful little crystals of calcite on it, covered with white barite. Beautiful little specimen. Amethyst. Gorgeous specimens of amethyst I prospected. And a lot, too. Look at the size of this one. Perfect crystals. Octahedral. This is a rock. It consists of two minerals. Clear millerite and green fluorite. The green fluorite is cuboidal. The millerite is microcrystalline white crystals or clear. They're, they're actually a grayish clear crystal. Beautiful specimen. Look at those green crystals coming out of that fluorite. I mean coming out of that millerite. Absolutely gorgeous. A lot of these specimens are really large. They weigh over a pound. Some are small. Here's a beautiful specimen of perfect crystal form uh, quartz. This is clear quartz. Tourmaline. Black, cuboidal tourmaline. Both black shiny vitreous adamantine, green adamantine, and some pink in there. Beautiful, look at that specimen. Tourmaline. I'd sell this tourmaline for, this. I mean, you, you just don't get tourmaline like this. $10. I'd sell this rock, it's really beautiful, for $10. Tremolite is a little unusual to come across. I'd sell this for $15, and it's a very large specimen. The calcite is absolutely very unusual to find calcite of this crystal form. The prices vary depending on the size. I'd sell a specimen of this size for uh, $29, or you could have a smaller specimen for $10. The amethyst. I mean, 
you know you have good quality hexagonal perfect crystal form deep violet that's quality I mean this this is really something I'd sell and this is a big specimen I'd sell this for fifteen dollars and something of this nature that probably weighs about eight pounds thirty five dollars or you can have a small specimen for about this guy's not so small nine dollars aquamarine calcite you don't normally see calcite in this aquamarine color eight dollars unusual color formicolite this is an unusual and rare specimen formicolite beautiful perfect crystal form it's tan in color sort of a brownish color this is going to sell for, uh, I'm going to put a price on this for $19. Calcite. Beautiful calcite. Perfect crystal form. Both specimens are about the same size. I'll sell these for about $3. Clear quartz. Clear quartz. Nice big crystals. Perfect hexagonal crystals. I'd sell this specimen. It's, it's quite a big one. For about... Specimen of that nature. For about... Five dollars. Microcline. This is a little unusual to find. Microcline is... It's beautiful crystal structure. Per, it's euhedral. Euhedral means perfect crystal structure. None of these, some of these specimens are subhedral, meaning no crystal structure. Uh, I mean anhedral. Some are subhedral, meaning some crystal structure. But this is euhedral, perfect. This microcline would be fifteen dollars, or you could have a small specimen for five dollars. Well, last the night. Well, last the night. Beautiful, beautiful elastinite, and it's on. It, it's green. Look at that green color. It's, it's hard to see in. If you took these outside, you'd really see the color radiate. Well, last tonight. Nine dollars. Clear calcite. On matrix, and the matrix is nice. It's it's pure black. Three dollars. The smaller specimen. One dollar. Brewsterite. You don't come across this too frequently. It's beautiful crystal structure. Cuboidal. Brewster Brewsterlite. Let me get this in the light for you. Brewster light. Fourteen dollars. It's a big specimen. This is red calcite. Calcite never comes in such a rare, beautiful, real deep red color. So this is unusual and it's perfect crystal form. It's euhedral. Eleven dollars. Tremolite. Look at that acicular crystal form. Perfect euhedral acicular form. Light brown, light tan. Got a big crystal there. The, no matrix on this. All right, tremolite. Um, Fourteen dollars because that's a rare specimen. Well, last tonight. Well, last tonight, nice green color to it, five dollars. Here's sphalerite and it's fluorescent green. Sphalerite, 
perfect crystal euhedral tank two clear crystals fluorescent green fluoresces on the matrix too this is it's absolutely gorgeous um, the, the best way to get fluorescence is not within a black light you buy at a, a store but a germicidal ultraviolet lamp it's it's uh, it's uh, higher in energy and it really makes uh, fluorescent minerals fluoresce here's a nice one take a look at that natural lunite natural lunite natural lunite eleven dollars and I got another one too this is a smaller one six dollars Evansite Evansite is rather rare to find I, I did I, my prospecting really paid off and I worked all day long doing this Evansite Euhedral and uh, some um, quartz Clear quartz on the matrix, black matrix, which is granite. Heaven sight. Eleven dollars. Malachite. Malachite. Look at that beautiful green color. Malachite. All specimens are about the same size. Six dollars. Azure blue, azurite, azurite. There you go. Look at that azurite. Six dollars. Big specimen. Wardite. Now this is very uncommon. It is. Um, it is adamantine vitreous. It is. Uh, silky, it is triangular, it is striated, uh, perfect euhedral form. Uh, wardite is very unusual to find. This specimen is a small one. There's no matrix on it. Um, $19 up to the specimen. This is a big specimen, but it's Look at those crystals on this big, big specimen. Whoops. You can see it in my hand. 19. $19 for a big specimen. Sodalite. This is more common. But you don't find it in your local park, that's for sure. Sodalite. Little crystals. Clear crystals, a little on the gray color. Perfect euhedral crystals. Nine dollars. I didn't prospect this at Sterling Hill. This is a specimen. Um, that's chrysotile or asbestos in there that makes that um, uh, what would you call it? That um, include. It's an inclusion. It, it gives a tiger eye effect. It's cat. cat <coughs> <coughs> Chatoyancy on very little matrix. Three dollars. Clear calcite tremolite. Clear calcite tremolite on barely well, you got matrix. Yeah. Uh it's um acicular. There it is. This is rare. Tremolite's not common. It's about the size of it. Eleven dollars. This is a little guy. I like this guy. This is in, this is uh, Zinwaldite. 
Zinwaldite. And if you look at it, you'll notice it's, it's got an orange color. It's got euhedral to subhedral cleavage. $4. I didn't get this. This is my own specimen from Brazil. I prospected this at Brazil. Brilliant blue color. It's Amazonite. Amazonite. $3. This is a, a Garrisol Opal. And it's big. Garrisite Opal. Uh, it's... Um, it's a uh, conchoidal, um, rare to find. I have specimens all about the same size. Um, it is a, a beautiful opal. $19. Topaz. Topaz. I, I got this, this is not from Sterling Hill. I got this in Mexico back in 2004. Topaz, beautiful orange color. It's a very big specimen for topaz. And there you can see the clear topaz that a gemologist would be interested in. $25. I didn't get this at Sterling Hills. This is my own specimen. Octahedral fluorite from Brazil. It's rare to find fluorite in an octahedral form. This is a big guy. $11. You can get a small guy for $4. This is prenite, and it was actually very common. This is from Sterling Hill, but it's actually very common in, in the closed Patterson mine in Patterson, New Jersey. Prenite. Prenite. They're all about the same.